Then after you've got all that typed in, you sh it should look like this. You're going to click the next button and then you're going to start looking for books. Um, you can scroll down. They've got some different um, options available for you. Uh, what I would do, I would go ahead and click on preferences right here. So right here on this green bar, click on preferences and go ahead and set those up so that it's not showing you every book in the entire library. So format, you're looking for books. Language, you're looking for English books. Audience, click on juvenile. Um, because some of the young adults may be okay, they may be appropriate for you, you may find some that interest you, but I would check juvenile first, um, and then also be aware if you click on young adults, some of those are written for high school age students, and so the content may not be appropriate for your age, um, may not be something that your parents are comfortable with you reading, and it may not be something that you're comfortable reading. So like I said, I'd click on juvenile, whoops, there you go. Uh, leave compatibility on Libby. Um, that way it'll work with this app. And then on availability, click available now. So it's not showing you every book they own. It's showing you just what's available. And I would click sort by popularity. Um, that way the books that you'll see are the, mo the most popular ones, um, which is going to be closer to what you would see in our school library. Click apply preferences. And then over on that green bar, click Explore. Oops. And then go over to Kids. And it's got your five preferences that you already set, so it's got those there. And then click All Titles. And you're able to scroll down and look at these, see um, some of the different ones and if you notice like right here it says the lost hero Rick Reardon right above it says number one in series so that way if it's in a series and it's numbered meaning you need to read it in order it tells you that right there um if you're like huh that that looks interesting you know um you're thinking you might like it go ahead and click the tag button and you can click that little set of books and all it's going to do is tag it as maybe a favorite, so it's something that you could come back to. So maybe after you check this one out, it'd be an option, something to check out next. Um, Number of the Stars, that's also a really good book. The City of Ember. So let's say you decide you want to read. Hmm. What might you want to read? Let's see, let's say there's nothing on that page. Let's say you just keep going. Ooh, Counting by Sevens, there's Chomp. Okay, so those are both really good books. Let's say you want to read Counting, you think you want to read Counting by Sevens. If you click on the book, it shows, it'll show you, it'll, um, it'll show you a bigger picture of the cover and it'll t tell you um, what, what the book is about. So right here um, in the second paragraph, Willow Chance is a 12-year-old genius obsessed with nature and diagnosing medical conditions, finds it comforting to count by sevens. It's never been easy for her to connect with anyone other than her adoptive parents, but that hasn't kept her from leading a quietly happy life until now. So tells you about your inciting incident a little bit. Um, then this next paragraph gives you a little bit more about what that inciting incident might be. It kind of gets that story going. If you think it sounds interesting, then I would suggest you read a sample first. So here is the sample, and then in order to turn the page, you just click. Just click, just tap. Sorry, I say click, I mean tap the screen, and it'll just turn the pages. Um, this will be really helpful because as you get farther along in the book, if you stopped at chapter 8, you don't have to tap, 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 tap to get there. Just click on the chapter. It looks like it has a lot of chapters, but be aware, too, that chapters are sometimes one or two pages in certain books. Okay. So I would suggest that you read at least the first chapter um, before you make a decision. See, chapter one was really short. Um, if you're still not sure, then maybe go ahead and read chapter two. And um, then if you decide you don't like it, or you want to get out of here and check it out, then 
click towards the bottom of the page and then click back. And if you decide, hey, it seems pretty good, but I'm not sure, so then maybe tag it, add it to that book list. If you decide you want to borrow it, then click on borrow. Okay. And then right here at the top, it says you are borrowing for 14 days. Click borrow down at the bottom. And then it's going to add it to your to the lib to your personal library of your app. So you'll have access to this for 14 days. Make sure you pace yourself out. I would probably try to um, finish in 12 days um, so that you don't run out of time and then it disappears. Because as soon as it disappears from you, it goes back to the regular library. Someone else can check it out, and you won't have access unless it's available. So you can keep browsing. Um, I would, if you want to maybe make a wish list, if you've got other books that you need to finish. Um, but I would not check out more than two books at a time because, you know, some of these only have one or two copies. So if you've got all of these on your personal shelf, then that limits the options for other people. So you can go to, you can open the book immediately or you can click go to shelf. Um, your shelf will show you what you have out on loan, what you are holding. Oops, sorry, I clicked on that at the top. Um, and what you have tagged, so things that you maybe like. Okay, another way to get to this, if you go to the main screen, the main Libby screen, oops, right here, at the very bottom of the page, you'll see shelf. This will show you your books, okay? For recent loans. Now let's say you finish early, you need to return the book so that somebody else has that opportunity, obviously, after you take your AR test. So you can click right here where it says recent loans, click actions. Um, whoops, well I thought that was going to return it. Just kidding, apparently not. Um, so you click on manage loan, I apologize. And then you can click return early. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Click return, because I don't actually have intentions of reading this right now. I'm actually already in a paper book. Then I can go back to my shelf, see what I've recently returned, see that I have nothing checked out. Then I can go back to the things that I tagged and maybe those are some things that I want to go look at and I can see what's available. So if you have any questions with this app, if it's not, if it seems like it's not working right, um, please feel free to reach out to me through email. Um, you can also reach out to the Gravit Public Library librarian. Her name is Miss, Mrs. Benson. Um, she also should be able to offer you some help with this. Um, hope you find a book that you really like.